they do have sumo soap on a rope so at least there's that <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm at Goodwill. Now Goodwill isn't my favorite place to go shop or film, but I'm going to try it. We are in Dayton, Ohio. I've never been to this Goodwill, so we'll, we'll go in and we'll see what we can find. Treasure hunting online because they put all their stuff online. Hey though, that this Goodwill, the music is not loud, but they have all this like brand new Halloween stuff. So this is a different thing for me because my Goodwills in Indiana don't have all this new stuff. They don't have a lot of stuff on the shelves, but they don't have a lot of the new things. So I'm checking out these little the pilgrims. You're in the Halloween section, pilgrims. What does this guy do? He sings and he dances. Do we have to turn him on? Okay, put on a show for us, buddy. No, he's not going to. It's not gonna sing and dance for us. Do you do anything? No. Of course nothing's gonna have a battery in it, Misty. What are you? You're a little mouse. Okay. There's a little bat ghost. He's got a broken head. Oh, it's an orange wit. I love witches. Super oh superior toy. She's an orange witch. Mm. Oh, I also love Frankie. Mm. What else we got down here? Okay, let's move on. We got figurines. I don't. I don't understand the 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 desire for, the, for these guys but home interior made them all right what's over here so, what was that a little chubby chef and the little angel she's got your flower for you she's ready These guys are a little cute. They look like, yeah, they're left. Oh, they're $5.99. Eek. $5.99 for the left in graduation, boys. Here's a fairy light. <laughs> Not really, but. And here's a nightmare. This clown is gonna murder this bear. Run away, bear. Run away. Oh, see, I, don't, I just still don't understand the, that's a big Clydesdale horse. My goodness, he's $5.99 too. Fish. There's Cinderella. Oh, there's her shoe. Let this convey my love for you. That's fancy talk. Let this convey. I just see, okay. Why? Why, why, why does somebody want this? Old lady holding her plants. And then we have this lady. She's got something in her pockets. There's a lot of, I said the music's not loud. So there's that, there is a lot of new Halloween stuff, which I don't understand. Where they get all that stuff from? Hmm. Okay, going to the next aisle. We're looking for the Christmas section. Oh, this is a little people. I wish if it had all the little people, I'd probably get it. The little people Christmas. Maybe they have it in the bag, so we'll have to look if it got bagged toys and stuff. We have the lamps. And brand new phone cases. This is just, it's way different than a Goodwill in Indiana. They don't have, like, they don't have a lot of the new, new stuff, but 
They don't have a whole lot of anything anyway. This is from Ikea. It's the Kenyak. What is this, a cat toy? Is that what that is? I don't know. Don't know what that is. We got the blue section. Not seeing anything in the blue section. And look at the clear glass section. Aww, I'm cute cat. Oh. That is a pink. Oh, he's got a broken tentacle. It's a pink octopus on it. Oh my gosh. Look at the cats. And there's another one. Those are fun. Oh, this is Jemco. Yeah. I don't know if it has any of the other pieces to it, but it's oil and vinegar. I think the it's missing something from the top. But that is Jemco. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I like the cat wine glasses. I'm going to look at this clear glass aisle because sometimes I'm always on the lookout for the inserts for Fenton fairy lights. They're, they're similar. No, they're not similar. They're smaller than this, but I mean, they're, they're round and they just go, they're the third piece on a lot of the, high, you know, the more expensive, the higher end, um, Fenton fairy lamps. So they can kind of blend in sometimes, but just the insert alone can sell for 40 or $50 on eBay. So I always look for them. Plus I have a couple that need inserts. That's different. That ball inside of that sphere. Oh, here's a cart. Mugs. Here. Oh no, it could be maths. The math smart card game, Mark. Plays like dominoes, teaches like a tutor. Oh my gosh, what is that? What do you do with that? What's that say on the bottom? Ale, ale wine pottery. Are, do the, are these ale wine? No, these are pigeon forge. Big pieces. I just don't know what you do with that. I always look for sealed puzzles too. These are not sealed. Mark found the mug thing. It's to cook bacon. That, you should get it. Yeah, you could. You can microwave bacon. But I think you should go get it. We should try that. Do you think that'd be nice to try at home? Yeah. You see, bacon cooker. Mmm, bacon. Not seeing any plates. But see, look, this is just bizarre to me. This is like all like stuff that you'd find in a store store. This looks like Temptations by, yeah, Temptations by Tara. Which I think some of it does sell on eBay, but I always check for sealed and vintage, sealed puzzles, vintage games, really sealed games. So this is the girlfriend from AARP. So I'm gonna say that's probably a, a giveaway. They're looking for sealed games. They're so easy to list and sell on eBay. So this is Ritter Trek puzzle. Sometimes these older, uh, these they're from an, another country. This might be German. It does have a barcode scanner, so maybe I'll scan it and see. I couldn't find it. It's a puzzle. It's 99 pieces. I really don't want to count those pieces. That's why I like to buy sealed ones. Oh, the magic school bus. High Stackers Party Memory Magnetic Game. It's this tiny world quilting, red light, green light. Press your luck racing game. Huh. Sometimes these think fun games can be 
worth buying too. Um, the educational games. And I might scan this one and see if it's worth anything. Brand new, this Gravity Maze game sells for about $25. If it was sealed, pre-owned, it's about $10 to $15, which is still a profit margin, but it, I'm on the road, and so I'm not going to get it today. But sometimes looking at these Think Fun games, especially if they're new, is a nice thing to buy because, like I said, they're easy to ship, easy to, to list. There's not a lot of pieces in here, so you can count them in the store still if you have the time. Plush is something else that I always check out too. Look at some basket full of babies. I don't like those babies though. And then we've got some Wilton cake pans which once upon a time used to be worth a little bit of something but I think they no longer are worth anything. It's a longer burger insert for a bread basket. Pillows. So I like to check out the books. I was looking for old books or children's books. Coffee table books. Books from the 70s, books from the 80s. The story is Snow White. I love you the purplish. Guy Fieri, not looking for you. Goodwill has this cool chair. Mark and I, when we first got married, we had chairs a lot like this. They were bright, they were burnt orange. They were the most comfortable chairs. They want $70 for this one. I, it's honestly, it's in really good condition. So that that's a fun thing to see. We definitely don't have room for that in our car. So we'll we'll be passing on the golden chair. Right now I don't have anything in my cart. So we might be just about done. This is just bizarre to me, all the new stuff. Let me know in the comments. Do you, does your Goodwill have a lot of new things? Like look at the new big bottles of hand sanitizer. Shoes, we all have shoes in our Goodwills, but I'm not looking at shoes. In the front of the store, they've got Halloween, like quite a bit of Halloween costumes. Um, you can get some horror, no, worms that grow out of your face. Oh, look, Mark, a whole face tattoo. Yeah. I wonder how that would come off. <laughs> I'm going to take a guess that that probably doesn't come off very quickly. Then you'd have to go into work with the hoodlum mob, evil ways, under in the marijuana leaf on your chin. Oh, you could be a cat lady. What are the other choices? Let's see. Do we just have the cat and the hoodlum? Or a skull? Let's see? The cat, the hoodlum, or the skull? Or you can get a cat pumpkin for your tat for your or a cat tattoo for your pumpkin. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, you can have t pirate tattoos on your arm, or in memory of the fallen biker tattoo. Oh, I personally like the gun with the purple flowers. A good luck zombie girl. An angel, the skull that's shouting something. Hmm. Those are interesting. What do we got over here? Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a mermaid girl. Oh, it could be a panther. Hmm. Is this Rudolph? A unicorn. So, oh, I didn't even check. I wanted to check to see just because I was curious how much are these nice face tattoos? $7.99, eek. 
All right. Well, I think we're about done. We're not buying anything in here today. Quick trip to Goodwill. So it's like that sometimes. I guess it'd be like that sometimes. There's a snake. I keep finding other interesting things to look at in the Halloween section. So anyway, we didn't get anything in here. So I guess we'll, we'll see if we can find any other Goodwills and we'll add that to this video. So the Goodwill hunt in Ohio continues. Oh, you can get socks with llamas and tacos. Hmm. See, this is a different, very different thing, the Goodwills in Ohio, because like I said, there's new things here. There are new things. And I'm going to park my cart and walk for a few minutes. Oh, Jocelyn's already finding some stuff. Cute little pilgrim duck. It's not just a duck. N no. He's extra. Pilgrim duck. Does he I have? Shelves, oh, I like her. Witch. I like the little witch. See, we've got new Halloween. Although it's cute stuff. Oh, not, not you. But I would like to find some vintage Halloween at the Goodwill. I don't think that's going to happen. But the other Goodwill had, um, Tattoos for your face. I wonder if this Goodwill will have tattoos for your face. I want some tattoos for my face. Well, we might find them here. There might they might be here. I'm not hey. seeing them right now. Oh. How you doing? They, oh, she's got all the sashes in all the wrong places. <laughs> so we're gonna see this. This Goodwill is definitely a lot more full than oh, than the last one. Hey, do not put these in the dishwasher, people. This is what happens. And then they end up at Goodwill. Nobody will want them because they're faded. Oh no. No, we can't we can't do that. I'm seeing this. This is not an old piece. It is J Park. Oh no. I, I have an idea that I'm wanting to do a little project with these, some of these things for Halloween, but that one's pretty chipped on its little on its little nose. This is also this green and this orange I'm looking for, but not that. Not that. There's a little baby holding that ball. These are cute. These are cute. I don't know why I think they're so adorable, but they are. They are the Young Prince. Premier issue uh, in the Little Friends of the Arctic. 1995. Hmm. I might look these up. They might be worth a little something to sell on eBay. They are really cute and they've got these little bright, brilliant blue eyes. All right, this little guy, no, I think it was this one. It was a little bit different. Sold for about uh, $20 or so online. And I'm just, I don't know. I think I'm gonna pass. There was only one sold, but there's only one listed. So that's just not, a lot of information for me but they're really cute so I'm not gonna get them today do like them though oh what's this little hmm that's a satin glass back there all right the fun thing though you know you can still go and shop with your friends even if you have a reseller friend because we all like different things and we're all kind of looking for different things and have a different eye for things so don't think that you can't go sourcing with your friends because you absolutely can oh you're $2.99 why can't you be like orange or green or a fun color like that you're just cl a clear glass bird. Hmm. Oh my gosh, Emma would love that cookie jar of a cow. You seeing anything else down here, guys? Hmm, not really seeing anything right now. So here we've got some Christmas. Let's just dig in and see if we can find something. I don't. I have an empty cart. Oh, they're a kitty cat. You're not Christmas. You're not even a Christmas cat. This is cute. Not. It's vintage inspired. 
but not vintage. Okay. Let's keep moving. They do have sum sumo soap on a rope. So they may not have a whole lot of stuff that I, I'm going to buy, but they do have sumo soap on a rope. So at least there's that. Hmm. I like to check out these, I call this like the, the paper aisle. So I have found some really cool vintage things on the paper aisle. I have found vintage trapper keepers. That's the, the other thing about the Goodwills here. They're very small. The aisles are very, very small. What is that? A big bottle for a cow. It's a big cow bottle. All right, we have some games. I love my nerdy board game. We play nerdy board games every Saturday night, but we did find yeah. some of these that I've never played before. Mark's showing Drew the coconut brawl. Some of these sell for about 40 or $50 online, even pre-owned, and a lot of them are $2.99 and $1.99, so we're going to get these. Um, this one is the only one that was... Wear them around the market all day tomorrow. Say, Daddy, can I have yeah. some sausages? Oh, dude, I would so wear them and go order a sausage. Daddy, can I have some sausage? Oh, my God. Please do. Oh, this, is, this one is sealed but I'm gonna keep this one. All right, so we're checking out at the Goodwill. I only got those games. Out of both of the Goodwills that we've gone to today, just got two things. That just goes to show you that the best places, at least in my opinion, to look for things for resale is at an antique mall. That's just my opinion. Anyway, it was a lot of fun shopping in here with Jocelyn and Drew. Um, she will have a video out, so make sure that you go and watch her video as well. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl, the sweetest one in town. Can search for miles around, and no one like me can be found. I've got a smile, a wonderful smile, in a certain little way.